Catching fish using real-time flasher sonar technology is really a quantum leap towards sophisticated angling techniques. You see, flasher technology is relatively old. It's been around for 30, 40 years. But the application of it for real-time sonar response has really come into its own in the last few years. Because anglers are starting to understand the true applications of flashers for real-time response. And today what I'm going to do is show you a little bit about how that real-time response can help you put more fish in the boat. Because today I'm fishing deep milfoil patches. I'm using a very powerful stick, a big one ounce jig, and I'm fishing vertically in columns of milfoil. One of the big advantages many people say why they like flasher technology is it's real time. You know, it, as you see it, it happens. In shallow water, flashers are unbeatable because they can show you the depth in one or two foot of water. Liquid crystals have a problem because they tend to average things out and show you a history of what's happened. Say, for example, we want to fish in a brush pile. And here I'll just use my real handle as the brush pile to give you an idea. As a liquid crystal unit would display this object, you would literally be past it before it would actually start drawing it on your screen. So your mind would say, oh, there's a brush pile there. Now, I'm not saying it won't show the brush pile. It will show the brush pile, but it's delayed. It's history. With a flasher, it's instantaneous. So what you see is exactly what's underneath you for that instant. So if I want to fish this individual limb of a brush pile, I can literally hover the boat over the top of it and fish vertically. Now on some of the lakes in, in southern Texas where they have a lot of deep milfoil, the columns of milfoil may be 10, 15, or even 20 feet deep. They literally position the boat using a flasher over individual stocks of milfoil and fish vertically. With a liquid crystal, it shows you an average of what's down there, so you really don't have an idea where these pockets are in the weeds. So what I'm using today is some real power fishing. I'm using 50 pound test line. I'm right inside a thick weed bed with a 10 foot column of milfoil. Powerful rod, powerful line, a one ounce jig, and I gotta pull hard to get them in. Let me show you how this flasher technology can help you catch more bass this next season. The FL-12 is by far and away the easiest sonar system to use in open water. You only have two knobs to control. No confusing menus, nothing fancy. Just simple, easy to use operations. The FL-12 has a really nice feature and let me talk to you a little bit about what it is. Because when you're using a liquid crystal unit in heavy vegetation or in shallow water, it's hard to see what the true bottom is. In most cases, the screen will all go black. But with the FL-12, you can use it to find what true bottom is. And that's, let me show you how that works. First thing you do when you turn the unit on, you'll go to the zero to 20 foot mode and you know, it shows the bottom, so we're okay there. Now we wanna keep the gain as low as possible, but it looks like we're in only like four foot of water because that's where the first strong red signals are, but it's not because you know you're fishing in heavy vegetation. So the secret here is to go to the 20 foot low power mode and it's built in, so it's just a matter of flipping the switch. Now I go to the 20 foot low power mode and now I find out that the bottom is really in 10 foot of water. See it's 10 foot deep here. The green signals are an indication of weeds and other, other vegetation but the true depth is actually 10 feet. The 20 foot low power mode cuts the output of the unit by 50 percent. So that gives you the ability to cut through all the clutter and show you what the true bottom is. Now if you're bass fishing and if you can find that you're actually in 10 foot of water, when most units say you're in five foot of water, you have the distinct advantage over the competition. So flasher sonar technology delivers real-time response and works extremely well in heavy vegetation. The idea of fishing with a flasher is quite simple. Because it gives me instantaneous response to what's below me, I can keep the boat exactly where I want the bait and the boat to be because wherever the boat is, I make sure the bait stays near it. So many times when people are fishing, they say, oh, the drop off is here, so they cast to shore. No, 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 the fish relate to this, the objects and the bottom. In this case, on this side of the boat, it's thin weeds, and on this side of the boat, it's too thick of weeds to fish, and the fish are right on this crease. So what I'm gonna try to do is position the boat so I stay along this edge. Now, I'll just turn the boat a foot or two at a time to the left or to the right to make sure I keep bumping that weed edge. My casts aren't a country mile. My casts are right in front of the boat or right off to the side where I know that, okay, I'm a little into it. 
that should be right on the edge. And I'll keep tapping the edge, pulling the boat to the left, to, to clear. Oh yeah, it clears up right there. And then I back away, and I know that the edge instantaneously is right underneath me. You can't do that with a liquid crystal. Liquid crystal units show you history. In other words, it shows you what you've gone over. My transducer is right on my electric trolling motor. So it's telling me what's directly below me. So if I keep my bait in the prime structure area where they're holding the fish, I'm just gonna catch more fish. It sounds really logical, but really uh, catching fish is a logical matter. If you keep the boat on top of structure, keep your bait in the structure zone, you're gonna be catching more fish. And flashers do that better than anything because it offers real time response. Coming to that edge. Boy, there's no doubt about the fact that that edge is very, very sharp. I don't know if I could stay on it any other way because it's just a matter of a foot one way or a foot the other. Some of our Vexilar field staff people down in Amistad, down in Texas, and Falcon, fish a lot of deep milfoil like this and won tens of thousands of dollars and I think at last count three bass boats by using this exact technique that I'm talking about here. It's very effective. But again, a lot of people don't understand the locator shows you where the structure is. The fish relate to the structure, so you've got to keep your bait where the structure is. And in this case, you want to keep it down where the action is. And that's right down on those edges. And we're right, you know, it's an imaginary line in my mind, but I must be right on the edge here, because if I go this way, it's too thick. If I go this way, it's too thin. So I know that I'm right here on the crease. So I'm just going to keep working down this crease until I find them. There's one. Oh man, right on him, right on him. Oh, that's a little guy. There we go. You see, the FL-12 kept me on that spot. The FL-12 shows you where the structure is. The fish live around the structure, and as long as I can have heavy line, heavy lure to get down to where the structure is in front of the fish, you can catch them. I'm gonna try to catch its mother here pretty quick. There we go. Another little one. Little fish with big dreams. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> I love it when, when they pull my string, yeah! Heavy line, big rod, nice fish. Here's an example of what I'm fishing on this deep weed line. With the aid of the flasher, which gives me real-time response, I can actually pinpoint the boat exactly over the crease of the weeds. These are all weeds here. Now watch, I'm just going to move the boat just a few feet to my left and it'll show you that there's long deep pockets in the weeds. And these deep pockets are where the fish are living. So what I'm going to do, see, there's a big pocket here. And so I'm keeping the boat literally on that crease. Now I'm going to go back over to where the weed line is so you, I can dramatize it. And you see, I'm only moving a few feet. So what I want to do is keep my jigs along this edge and I'll be where the fish are biting. Right on this edge. There's one. Got him. He was right on that edge, right where he was supposed to be. All right, here he goes. A real nice flasher fish. Flashers are fun to use. Flashers are easy to use. Anytime you can catch bass like this, flashers are a must to use. Give them a try.